What's up guys? So I guess this is technically the uh, first video here in the new garage. Um, <clears throat> as you can tell by the title, this is uh, going to be about painting your brake calipers, but it's a little different. Um, I know there's a million videos out there on YouTube of people painting brake calipers. Um, so I'm not going to go into like every single detail because I know y'all probably know. But what I'm here to show you is how you can basically get whatever color you want without having to buy like a brake caliper painting kit. Um, you can use just a regular rattle can if you know somebody with a paint gun. It doesn't have to be any kind of high temp paint or anything like that. I'm going to show you how to kind of get around that. Um, it's a method I've used multiple times. Um, as some people know, I have did work like this, uh, including vinyl wraps and stuff like that. Paint and brake calipers, obviously. Um, I did stuff like that for a while, and I used this on every car I did, and it worked flawlessly. The My silver Mustang. It held up for over two years with this method, with the green brakes y'all saw. Today, I obviously have the new Mustang here. Um, I already got it jacked up and everything. Obviously, y'all know how to do that. Um, whenever I worked for Ford, we had a GT500, a new one, come in in Velocity Blue. And I know this isn't Velocity Blue, but it's close. And it had the really bright red calipers. And for whatever reason, that just really popped to me, and I haven't stopped thinking about it. So after I got this car, I was like, yeah, I definitely know what color I'm doing it. So I got some bright red I'm gonna do, but what I'm gonna show you how to do is basically take any, like I said, rattle can, paint color, anything you can find and make it be able to work on a brake caliper without it chipping, bubbling, fading, flaking off, you know, all that normal stuff that non high temp paint does. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is get this sanded up, front and back. The back's not as important, but the front is, um, and then, We'll go from there. All right guys, so about 30 minutes later, I finished up this one side as far as sanding and cleaning and everything goes. So let me show you. So you don't wanna use anything too abrasive. I use this 3M 180. Um, it works really good for me. It's what I've always used. Uh, on this front one, I've done a bunch of Mustangs. So I know this in particular, this red Brembo is painted on. It's not a sticker, um, which after seeing that reminds me, I didn't order the vinyl stickers to put back on so i'll just kind of explain how to do that when we get to it um, but you want to sand all of that off um, the best you can obviously that's going to stay but just get rid of the color and then just scuff it up enough so the paint sticks make sure you get um like down into all the cracks and uh top anywhere big obviously you're going to want the paint to stick so it needs to be scuffed get the front um obviously i taped everything off that would shouldn't be painted. Um, I've seen a couple people who just spray rotor every part on the brake. Um, to me, that looks a little cheap, but you know, to each their own. Um, but then uh, brake clean works really well. I obviously just moved into our new house and hadn't gotten any, so I used a rag with some water on it. Um, but you just scrub and make sure you get all the brake dust out and everything. Um, but now for the my, I guess you could say secret, uh, so obviously if you just put, so let's, let's look at this. This is the paint I'm gonna use. Um, it's just a regular Krylon, it's matte fire red, a bright red paint. Obviously it's not um, a high heat paint or anything like that. So what you wanna do is get something that is. Um, this caliper paint works, it's high temperature obviously, or I've had really good luck in the past with like, um, engine primer or high heat primer. Basically what you wanna do is just put a couple of coats of this over the brake first, just to keep or help hold some of that heat in and keep it off your regular paint. So what you'll do is hit it with some of this, um, get you a good coat all the way around everywhere paint's gonna stick is where you're gonna want it. Um, then once that dries, which it doesn't take long actually, is why I like the paint better than the primer. Uh, primer dries quick too, I've just, I don't know, this is what I had. Um, You'll obviously hit it with this, and I'll show you, you know, thin coats, lots of coats until you get the color you want. And then once this dries, you hit it with some engine clear. And I like the gloss, the gloss looks better to me. Here, um, it's high temp, rated up to 550, and the brakes rated up to 900. So between these two, your base being a high heat, this is your middle, and then obviously your clear just to hold everything on and keep it from flaking and bubbling. Um, it's always worked really well for me and I'll show each one of the layers as I go um, It should be pretty easy to tell because this is matte. So once we hit it with the gloss, you'll be able to tell the clears on um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna start hitting this with paint and I'll update you as we go. All right, so this is after the first coat of the black high temp caliper paint. Um, it's a little thicker, but it's because I'm trying to fill in all these cracks and make it look smooth. Um, we're gonna let this coat dry and then obviously we're gonna hit it with probably two or three more just to make sure it's got a good finish all the way around. I need to hit the bottom a little bit more and the inside and come up. Um, it's actually laying pretty smooth, which I'm proud of. It's not the best day outside. It's a little humid, um, a little hot, but uh, we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna hit it with a few more coats. All right, so we got three coats on the front. I think that's gonna be good. This last one's drying right now, which they actually dry pretty quick. Um, and then I did two coats on the back. Looks like enough just because it's less area. Sorry, it's a little dark, but um, hit all the big stuff. And uh, now we're waiting on it to dry. We'll probably give it another 10-ish minutes. And uh, once it's completely dried, we're gonna hit it with the paint. All right, guys, first coat's down. Um, as you can see, it's just a light coat. The camera's not picking it up very well, but you can still see all the black through it. Um, just to give it a base, I'm letting this dry really good before I start laying any more, because you can see out of the nozzle, uh, it had some splatter. So we wanna make sure all that's dry, so when we lay the next coats of paint, it all just kind of blends in. So we want it to be good and dry. Gotta hit the bottom a little better. You still see the black there, and we gotta come up. You know, you wanna hit it from every angle. Uh, we got a coat on the back, too, so. Um, obviously we'll hit all this a little better, um, and then I'll update you with the next coat. Alright guys, so we're three coats in. I did that base coat you saw. I did one, and now I did this one. Uh, this one's a little heavier. I took out most of the black you could see through. Uh, still needs a little on the top, on the inside, and probably on this top and the bottom, but for the most part, they're coming out pretty good. It looks glossy because it's wet. Like I said, it is the um, matte finish. That's the front. We'll probably do one, maybe two more coats on the front. Uh, it's a smooth caliper, so they don't usually take a lot. This back one obviously is not painted or anything, so it's a little rough. We'll probably do about three more coats on this, but it's coming out good. Just uh, got to let it dry and hit it with another one, so I'll update you as soon as these are done. All right, guys, so the last coat just went on. Um, it's drying right now. I think it's getting pretty close. It went on about two or three minutes ago. Um, this is about what they look like with just paint. This is the front. And then the rear. So as you can tell, it's going to be bright red against the blue. Um, like I said, I know it looks matte or I put gloss on it, but I wanted to point out right here. This is where I get these, um, these, they're supposed to be like high heat vinyl stickers, uh, that say like Brembo or you can really get anything on them. Um, I get those. I usually put Brembo on mine because they usually say Brembo anyway. Um, but like I said, I forgot to order them. So I wanted to point out right here is where you would take those stickers once the paint is completely dry and put them on the front with the brakes like this that are just the single piston rears. You can't really put a sticker on those, so I usually don't mess with them. But on the front, you put the sticker um, and then you put it on there once, like I said, once it's completely dry. Uh, put it on there, smooth it out really good, make sure it's straight. When they're crooked, it just looks goofy. Um, make sure it's straight and then once that's on this is where you're gonna take the gloss clear or if you don't want gloss you know whatever clear just a high temp clear I like the gloss and you're actually gonna spray it on there over the sticker now I know it says high heat vinyl and it's supposed to hold and all that but I've seen them peel off um, I've had them peel off and this is a way I found like I said I used this on my silver Mustang for over two years the gloss going over the sticker basically just holds it on there. There's no way the sticker is going to come through the gloss or peel up or anything like that. So that's why I'm saying you make sure you have the sticker perfect before you put the gloss on. And this is what's going to hold the paint on that's not high temp and the vinyl sticker on. Now this is going to be our last step. Like I said, I'm waiting for these to completely dry before I put this on. Um, I am going to end up putting the Brembo stickers on here, so I'm probably only going to do two or three coats of this. I'll get the stickers here, and then I'll put those on and do another coat or two. And it'll be super glossy after that, but that's the plan. Um, so once this dries, I'm going to put some clear, and I'm going to show you the difference between this matte red and with the gloss clear. Okay, short time later, got to just hit the last coat of gloss on there. Um, that's the back. This is the front. You can see, I'm hoping the camera picks it up. It's got a nice glossy finish. Even when you touch it, you can feel it's just smoother. 
and not a mat. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this tape off and then I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like bare and then I'll throw the wheels back on and we'll take a look at it then too. All right, so got all the tape pulled off. Everything's dry now, as you can see. We got the front here. Like I said, there's gonna be a big black Brembo right there. Uh, that's just what it looks like bare. Hopefully we'll get that done this week, but that's it for now. And then the rear, um, as you can see, I didn't tape up perfect down here. Um, we're on the top, but it's okay because it's on the actual rotor part. When you brake, it'll just scrub it off. Um, I don't recommend it, but it's not the end of the world if you get a little pain on the rotor. Um, in the middle, like right here where I missed that, you can take some acetone or some nail polish or something and just scrub that off. That's not a big deal either. Um, but like I said, if it gets on like the actual rotor part, like this little bit of overspray right here, uh, when you brake, it'll scrub that off. So not a big deal. Uh, but let's throw the wheels on real quick and see how they look. All right, guys. So final results. This is the back. And then I know it's kind of dark in here and it's overcast outside, so I'm gonna get the best I can. Kind of see the front there. Now, like I said, we'll definitely get those Brembo stickers on. Um, also, one thing I did was try to make this color match the dot and the 5.0 um, as close as I could. Because I got some other plans that'll tie all this together later on. Um, but yeah, that's how you can basically use any paint you want, any color you want, on brakes or actually this will work for any kind of hot part um, so you can get that perfect color uh, actually I'll show you too I did this in the background of this video uh, I painted these coil covers um, actually with this same I don't know where I put it I painted it with the same black caliper paint just because I don't like the stock gray and everything like I'm not a fan of this color I'll be changing that soon uh, but these were the same colors, so I painted those the same a few weeks ago, and as you can see, they're holding up fairly well. So I just sprayed, I taped off the middle of this, so it's still like the flatter black, a little brighter. Um, but I painted the sides of it to match, so to me it all kind of ties together and looks a little better than just all the gray through the engine bay. And we'll be putting some stuff on to help uh, tie all this together, like we'll get rid of all this and uh, hopefully change this soon as well. But uh, yeah, guys, that's the um, that's the video for today. I uh, hope it helps. Hope it gives you some insight on what to do when you want to do your own brakes and use that special color. You're not sure if the paint will work. That's how you can make it work on, like I said, pretty much anything. Um, but that's all I got. So I'll see you in the next one.